I will try to open a Unity 4 project that I have uh, created in Unity 5. Uh, the project uses uh, Unity Gen, uh, the 3D character model, uh, the, the former version, and I will run Unity 4. And I will try to open my project. This is a Unity 4.6 project. And I will try to upgrade it. And let's see how it goes. Now, while waiting for that, you might uh, know that. Okay. Uh, that Unity 5 has a few changes from Unity 4 that you can see from the Unity website you can see it from um, here okay and then um, There are uh, lots of new features in AI, Android animation, and others. What I'm most excited is uh, the WebGL support. So, and of course, there are. Okay. Now this is the main. Uh, these are the main changes, but uh, there is a guide. Where do they put it? Okay, I think they put it on uh, documentation. Yeah, so I uh, think you, you can search it here. So okay, topic is here. From architecture to Unity 5 upgrade guide. So there are several things that you may want to know. Uh, there are changes in AI, animation, in audio, and baked. So uh, basically, uh, uh, in the for things using baking lot of things has to be rebaked and in audio uh, there are no more uh, 3d flag <coughs> but uh, you can use the spatial blend slider to morph sounds from 2d to 3d and back at runtime and there are also changes in uh, animation <coughs> Unity 5 has uh, publicized the APIs for blend tree, animator controller, etc. that previously in Unity 4 were internal and now they have moved it as a official uh, API. <coughs> and also the plugin structure are uh, are separated now from 32 bits and 64 bits. And uh, in physics uh, there are very many changes because now Unity uses a uh, physics three SDK uh, w which is faster but a lot of things are are, are different are and uh, uh, some things might be incompatible and in shaders uh, it's uh, uh, if you use shaders then it will be uh, different because uh, uh, the light intensity is now twice so there no need to use a t twice multiply in the shader itself. So uh, if uh, you use shaders, uh, custom shaders, then they will need to be changed. So going back to 
my project this is my previous project it's uh, actually uh, a very uh, the, the, the demo project from United Chan so let me test uh, this is the action check scene and seems like it's working just fine in United 5 so no changes are needed to make it work on United 5 and uh, also try another scene here so it's uh, actually it's very good because this is a quite um, complicated uh, complex uh, project with a uh, uh, complex model and stuff so the, the upgrade is uh, pretty very very good now this one is a little bit different I think this is because of the shaders although the game is uh, very playable um, but uh, this shader is a, a little bit off so I think this is because uh, United 5 uh, has twice the light intensity so the shader in this case needs to be uh, the, the custom shader function needs to be uh, made uh, to be tweaked because in Unity 4.6 the, the shader is uh, 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 using twice the light so let me try that uh, actually in Unity channel website uh, they have a a patch that you can download and um, okay let me try again and actually I've, I've downloaded it here that you can use so there is this uh, the patch here that you can download from this page so let's see if it works. It's just applying this patch works or not. So you can download it from here. And um, let me try to import it. Try to import it. Let's see if this works. Okay. And uh, seems that nothing has changed. And how about this one? If nothing has changed, uh, I think that we need to change, uh, tweak it a little bit on how to use this. So now the game is unrunnable. So, well, basically the uh, conclusion is that mm, many many things in uh, United 4 will just work in United 5, but there are things that you need to be aware of. And in my uh, sample demo project from United Chan seems that the uh, the major area that, that needs to be changed uh, is the shaders but actually this is a should be a trivial change to make yeah you know you just need to remove the multiply by two okay